So I just want to talk about some of the rules of space um, so that you can execute your own section of this project um, using some rules that create an illusion of space. So first let's look at the path. So the path that it appears to be closest to us right here and part of the way it's doing that is by being lower on the page. So there's one rule. Things that are closer to us are lower on the page. Um, and as they get farther away from us, they get smaller. So here the path is really wide, and as it gets farther away, it gets skinnier. Um, notice that this tree may actually be like a, a smaller bush, um, but it looks bigger if we were to measure it compared to this back here that's also probably trees. But these trees could be actually much taller than this bush. But just because this one is closer to us, um, we make it, you know, measure larger and this measures smaller. It's also closer to us, uh, looks closer to us because it's lower on the page and this one looks farther away from us because it's higher on the page. So um, our size changes as we get farther away and our position on the page changes. Um, notice back here these mountains uh, or whatever's back here, hills, they lose detail. So here it's also even these trees, they lose a lot of texture. Here we have a real rough texture where we can sort of see the leaves. Back here we lose details. So as far, when we get farther away we lose details and we sometimes even get this little like um, blue or purple haze in the far distance. Um, so if I just go to the next picture here, you can see this again in this really like kind of classic landscape with a mountain in the background. The mountains have this sort of like purple haze over them um, and the trees and the distance lose detail compared to up here where we have a tree that's closer to us um, with you know bigger leaves or bigger strokes of paint that suggest more detail. Um, now, this is a good one to look at because I said that things that are closer to us are lower on the page, and yet this tree is way up high on the page. So think about more, think about that more like where does the bottom of the object start? So the bottom of this tree starts pretty low on the page, and it's a nice tall tree, so it extends all the way up to the top and off the page even. So if it's going off the page, then it must be really close to us, as opposed to trees like this that fit inside the page and over here they get even smaller.